So as much as is in me, uh huh. Uh huh. Now, some of you don't know the road to Rome. Eh? So, I'm ready to preach this gospel to you that are everywhere I go, also. You understand it? Now, Paul spoke like this because if you had read Romans chapter 1, you will find out that Paul was already saying, Many times I wanted to come to you, but I was let hit at all. That means I was resisted, or the opportunities were not right. And as much as is in me, I am ready to preach the gospel to those of you who are in Rome also. Listen, that means preaching the gospel is going to become, become our, our normal, normal regular, regular everyday, everyday life. life. Listen, together with every job opportunity is your preaching opportunity. Together with every business contract is your preaching opportunity. Together with every boss entry. Some of you need to be faithful with your boss entries now. Some of you are delaying the days of owning your own cars. Because you are not preaching the boss. You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. Every opportunity I will have to be in the midst of two, three will be an opportunity to preach the gospel. What we owe you as a church is to both leave the example of that before your eyes and train you to understand the wisdom to preach the gospel in every circumstance. I didn't say the wisdom to represent. I said the wisdom to preach. Because we will not only look like Jesus, we will tell them. You see this thing? Don't be confused about it. This is not Muhammad. It's Jesus. So maybe one other thing you should tell yourself. But I'm back. I suffered. He, he, he has saved me. I was lacking. I was yesterday. lacking. He gave me. He gave I was down yesterday. And I'm supernaturally healed. I will enter the office and make people believe. That is because I drank Panadol. Tell them, guys, I was sitting in the office for the last two days. You know I was struggling with my health. Let me tell you how I came out of it. I was lying down somewhere yesterday. And I listened to the word of the Lord. And suddenly, strength entered into me. The doctors had told me I was going to be down for two weeks. But here am I. Say it! Let them know. Stop being conservative about the things that Jesus has done. People are, they don't look offended when they are telling you rubbish. People are becoming bolder about their adultery and their fornication. People are discussing adultery on office floors. It is time to discuss Jesus and what he has done. Walk into the office, singing joy like a river. I got joy like a river. Listen, part of your representations of Jesus is that your countenance should never be dark. Why are you so downcast, oh my soul? Hope in God. Bless the Lord who lifts up my countenance. Many a day that say of me, there is no help for him in God. But thou, oh Lord, are a shield for me. The glory and the lifter. Oh my God. I, I cannot, I can't permit circumstances to hold my face. You know why? The Bible gives you the solution. I would have fainted except that I believed to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Listen, it didn't say I, I stopped fainting because I saw the goodness of God. I believed. Maybe. So when things are not working, I raise my countenance because I believe that all things work together for my good. I love God. I am the called according to his purpose. I believe I will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. There's no reason for my countenance to be down. My present circumstance cannot define what my face looks like. Hope in So I said, walk into the office singing, I got joy like a river, joy like a river. I got joy like a river in my soul. When they ask your oh boy, what's the problem now? What, what kind of happiness is this? Tell them, let me tell you something. Yesterday when we were closing from work, I didn't have money to come today. And I knew all of you, if I ask you for money, you will say, where's my God? 
So I decided to go home and wait upon my God. I woke up this morning not knowing how I was going to come to the office. But guess what? I prayed to God. And somebody called me and said, can I drop you? See, see, if you don't become loud about what Jesus has done, you are not making him beautiful enough for the day when you present him to men. I wish everybody helped me. So as much as it's in me, I'm ready. Oh, thank you. Psalm 27 verse 13. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Take us back to Romans chapter 1 verse 15. Verse 15, he said, so as much as is in me, I'm ready to preach the gospel to you who are it at Rome also. Verse 16, why? Ooh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto the salvation of how many? Jesus for how many? The power of God unto the salvation of everyone that believes. Everywhere. Look at it. I'll go again. I'll go again. In case you didn't see that. It is the power of God unto the salvation of everyone. The rest of the statement. Everywhere. 